Hello everybody, got a video here on how to solder two wires together and heat shrink it. Anyway, all you're really going to need is a thing of solder. You'll want to get some solder paste, or flux as people call it. So you'll need that, your solder, and there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could use a soldering iron and you could use a heat gun actually for on the heat shrink tubing to shrink it. But on this one we're just going to use my little torch here that I got to do it with. So basically all you do is take and strip your wire out. I got one already done here. We'll do the other one. Strip it out so it's back probably about three quarters of an inch or so. And you'll take both of your wires and you'll dip it into your soldering paste or you can just take a little brush and brush it on or actually use your finger even always put your lead back on it so the stuff stays clean on it and I take and try to twist the wires together just a little bit to help hold them and that way you get a better solid wire there when you solder it. I've got this holder here it makes it a lot easier but you can do it without them. Just it gives you extra hand and you don't have to sit there holding the wire. If I didn't have it where I could slide the tubing on you'd want to put it on first. But since both ends are open on this I can just slide it up and over it. So I got my solder here. Make sure you got you enough pulled out that you can do it with without burning yourself. On this here torch, you got to turn it on and light it with a lighter here. Take and heat your wires up some. And you'll want to take your paste, I mean your solder, and go along it. Let it cool off a second. Solder cools off pretty fast. So it won't take long for it to hold it. And as you can see I got it soldered together there. And it's got a good solid hold to it. Now I'll take my tubing and I'll see how long I need it. You'll want it to overlap each side probably three quarters to an inch. So I'll cut that off some. Slide it up over it and make sure you got it where it's overlapping both sides pretty good. This is where you could actually use the heat gun to shrink this tubing because it don't take a whole lot of heat to do it. And you just, if you're using something like this, just move it back and forth real fast. You can actually use a little lighter to do this with also.
And as you can see, it shrunk around up pretty good. So it's got a nice good sill on it. No water is going to get in there. And it's got a really good grip there. It's not going to come apart on you. So that's just basically on how to solder a wire and heat shrink it. Pretty simple. And it's a lot better in crimping a wire with a connector or using a wire cap on them. So don't forget to subscribe on my video, I mean subscribe to my channel, like my videos and comment down below and have a great day everybody. Bye.